Okay. Thank you. Uh, Chairman Munga, Banaimbui, the leaders who are gathered here together, particularly from Parliament, our friends from the mountain region. First of all, let me take this opportunity to thank all of you, particularly those who organized this day and have given us the opportunity to come and talk to you. We've gone through very many elections in this country. And when I was coming here, I asked myself, what is the difference this time that there is so much concern from the leadership and the business community from Mount Kenya region that they have decided they should meet those they think might produce the next leader in this country. And I, I thought through it, it became very clear to me because where I come from, we really don't understand tribalism. We voted for Kibaki, you know it. We voted for the late Kenneth Matiba. Ask Raila, we have voted for him very many times. And generally, it has come to a point whereby the rest of the country thinks these people called Iluyas are just a voting machine. And we have decided this time around that we want, first of all, to work together as a community. Just the way you are thinking about the Mount Kenya community. And that's why we are three of us here. And uh, we will offer, not all of us, but one of us, to be part of the leadership of this country. Because we know that every number counts at this critical moment. Wambora, I met him long time ago when I was a young man. Wambora was personal assistant to the late Hezakia Nelson Oyugi. And uh, the former PC who is seated there will tell you quite a bit on the history of this country, Kagudi. That it is started like something small in the village, a family fighting. In 2008, it became the entire Rift Valley and spread up to the coast province, Nyanza and everywhere else. We are here, if I have to be blunt, because there are deep-seated fears, particularly amongst Kenyans today. In the Rift Valley, when you have had clashes, it has been communities that don't belong or should not belong to the Rift Valley. This has been changed. They have now created another tribe in Kenya called the rich and the poor, using exactly the same strategy, that I must identify an enemy and I must label that enemy and use it for my own benefit. Na mimi ningependa kuwauliza nyinyi watu wa Mount Kenya. Hatuwezi kuchukulia yale yanafanyika katika taifa letu kwa mzaha. 
na hatuwezi kusema tuko na muda kwa sababu vijana wetu wamepakwa uchafu katika vichwa vyao na yale mambo yote mnazungumzia ya uchumi hapa haina maana kama hatutakuwa na Kenya kesho if we don't have our country tomorrow all you are discussing here is a waste of time even if we talk on how we look at our natural resources invest capital in it create employment for our youth it will not happen unless we have a peaceful Kenya you all must resist the tribalism that has been used before to create chaos in this country to be apt to a point where you now have identified another tribe called the house and created another one the have notes just to perpetuate the same crimes you have perpetuated all through right from the rift valley now you've brought it to the national level and this we cannot continue to pretend we've got to face it now we've got to engage the youth now and we need to talk to them now remove what has been put in their heads lazima <laughs> tuitoe we are not here because Mount Kenya as a tribe wants to know what will be on the table a majority of you have it on the table there are areas in this republic where people don't eat so you are here because you are wondering after next year's election will i sit in my sitting room will i have my meal and a key lies with all of us first of all let us not have a preferred leader all these people are capable when the mount kenya look like they are our preferred leader you create a lot of dissent in the hearts of my brothers here because kalonza has spoken he has been key when you needed him i have told you as a community sometimes we think we are a voting machine we voted for everybody why we are here is the fear of kenya burning tomorrow and this we have to work on it we have no other kenya we only have one kenya we have no other home the only home we have is called this kenya leo ukienda katika mlima kenya kabila iko huko aelewe jambo lingine kwa sababu ameambiwa huyu hapo naye atanyang'anywa watapewa and we have seen such a leadership in the neighborhood there was a dictator who came in and said foreigners must go away and you know every ugandan clapped at that time they forced out the asian community they forced out all the investors and it did not take long before that country melted to zero so you understand the dangers that we are facing today we need to educate our people and let me tell you a hungry person to be manipulated is very easy the performance of our economy has caused our young people to be manipulated very easily we do not have a lot of time for prolonged discourse we have time to go to the ground educate our young men and women let them understand we do not have another country and that is only possible if we remove selfishness out of this leadership some of them among us we must agree we have to go forward as a united front for the sake of this country now if you refuse to play your role because it must be you you are just as an enemy as the enemy you are discussing here because you are not offering a solution 
you must agree to play whatever role you will be given as a leader for the sake of the unity of our country. Munga will not provide employment tomorrow if we have chaos in this country. Neither will Mwangi carry Kenyans to DRC for them to look at business opportunities if there are chaos in this country tomorrow. You are here because you are scared something wrong is happening. Way forward. Let us go to the ground. You people must never have a preferred candidate. Let all of us work as a team. And at the right time, Kenyans will see who is this so qualified to take us through this very risky period. I want to urge all of you, and the problem is coming from the mountain, don't have preferred candidates. I have told you, as a community, we have demonstrated many times that we can vote for any Kenyan. What do you expect us to feel as a community if you come fronting somebody else who maybe has just voted for you once, not because he wanted to vote for you, but circumstances voted, uh, forced him to vote for you. And us who voted for you, because we believed in you, we are treated like these ones are cheap. After all, they are divided, they'll just come and vote for us. Musiwe na wale munapendelea. Na sisi tuko tayari kufanya kazi pamoja. Na wala ambao wako inge, na wala ambao wameka hapa. This team is a demonstration of ability to work together. Sisi tuka hapa team. Ile engine mulikuwa na hata kubwa zaidi, likuwa mtu moja. Team ilikuwa nani? So nani anapenda umoja? Ni hawa au ni wengine? Kwa hiva na waomba, muwe wakweli kwa rohozenu, Musichukua ya kiza kimoja, mukifanya kionekana ndo cha maana zaidi. Ati oo tulishikana mikono. Kapana. Sisi tuliwapigia pila kushikana mkono. The lawyers were majority in voting in Kibaki. More than central province. We did not have a handshake. We are willing Raila to be our president tomorrow. If... The program is fair. You must be willing, Musalia or Kalonzo or Gideon to be a president tomorrow because all of them are being treated equally and fairly. Musikuja na preferred candidate, Mutaribu. Mutaribu Kapsa. And that's all I came to tell you. Mungu wa Bariki. All right, all right. Nasasa, Asante United Congress Party. Well, now, get my.